Okay, I'm going to create a second um, tactile texture. I want it to be quite different from my first one. And so I, I went and got another copy of the template. And so I'm going to get rid of the directions. And this time I think I'm going to um, try to start with a dark background. And I'm going to keep it on black there. And again, I've got to make a copy of the background. And I'm going to unlock the background. Maybe I'll start with a, a black background this time. So I'm going to get the paint bucket tool and just dump. Ah, it's not quite black. Maybe if I move this out, we can actually see why. All right. Okay, well that, that's probably going to work, so I'm going to just go with that. And I'm going to try to make kind of a tactile texture. And this time I'm go I don't want to use the custom shape tool because if you look here, they're all pre-made shapes and we don't want to use those. We want to make our own shapes. And so I'm going to um, work with the ellipse tool. And I think I'll use this dodge tool and I'll keep the exposure at 100% see what happens you see how it's kind of making some fuzzy but I'm going to make it kind of uneven here and see I'm making some long and short and so the lighter areas are going to advance And I'm going to make this a little larger by using the brackets just to the right of the P. And the exposure is at 100%. I really want this to be quite a bit lighter. So see if I click a couple of times. It's going to really make it give some a little bit of variety to this. I can go off because I'm doing this beneath the mask. It's going to keep um, the margins clear. Okay, let's leave that right there. So we have a kind of a, it's going to be a little bit more even. And so this looks kind of fuzzy. Some advances and some, and some um, of the parts do recede. But I think I can try to make this look a little more interesting. So I'm going to go to Image Adjustments, and this time I'm going to try Levels and see what happens. I'm going to come over here, and this is all on one layer. And so you can see as I move this over what it's doing. And so as a texture field, this could be effective in a design. You want to think, are you making something that you'd never see in a design? Or might you actually put this in a design? So that's possible. So I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to go to my history. And I'm going to click the um, this button here. And that takes a snapshot. So I can always go back to this part. Except... I'm going to try something else. I'm going to go back up to my dodge tool and get rid of what I just did. And go to image adjustments and I'm going to try my replace color. And I'm going to go to this gray and already I like it better over here. I'm going to try to make that background. You see how it's creating quite a different texture this way. And depending on how much is selected, what is in white is what is actually getting changed. So this is starting to look kind of bubbly. So I can reduce the saturation. Didn't have too much effect. Go back. I think I kind of like that because it's smooth and bubbly. And so it's it definitely has a different feel to my other one. And so I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to take another snapshot. 
and this was my first snapshot and I like this one quite a bit better and so I'm going to stay with this now I need to save this as a Photoshop file so I'm going to go to file save as and this is week 3A2 and I'm going to put um, bubbles just to make sure it's different and I'm going to go to my desktop and the design folder and click on save. Okay. So I've got two texture fields and in the next um, video I'm going to show you how to combine these two into one file because that's what you need in order to submit it for your assignment.